Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about three minutes. Going to be watching Tesla to start things off, looking to potentially do some options. And I say potentially because these are live videos, meaning this is not a recording. This is not some sort of situation where I've already recorded everything and now I'm coming back and explaining what's already happened. So this is not a trade recap. This is me recording myself, seeing the information for the very first time. So if you do want just an unscripted, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. Uh, but to be fair and to be respectful of your time, if you are looking for a nicely edited video, nicely scripted video, this won't be the video for you. But if you just want, like I said, uh, kind of the, the, the raw look into what it's like to be a day trader, uh, then um, this video should provide that for you. So I'll go ahead and pause and I'll be back at the open. Market opens up here any second, and I am definitely not going to touch Tesla here during that opening one minute. So there we go. The markets are open. Just going to let Tesla figure out what it wants to actually do here. Right before the market opened, things got relatively crazy with it. So it was one of those things where... So in hindsight, I get it. Clay, why don't you just buy some calls? I agree. Like I said, there was just a little too much uncertainty. And there still is uncertainty. Tesla could keep going up. Absolutely. It could also very quickly just all of a sudden pull all the way back down. The first minute can be very tricky. Um, but yeah, if I had a time machine, absolutely. I should have just bought. But that's hindsight for you. And look at this. <laughs> look at the price coming not all the way back down, but quite a bit of a pullback from those highs. So just got to let this play out here some. And you can see now the price starting to come back down somewhat, nothing massively, but All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now. And if I see a setup on Tesla or something else, I will get the video rolling at that point. And look at Tesla now, all the way down. And look at that, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, except I need to be 660. Or 14, excuse me. I'm interested down around, actually, let's do this, 650 calls. There we go. So we'll see if this pullback wants to continue or not. But yeah, needless to say, quite choppy this morning here on Tesla. All right, I will go ahead and pause once again, but definitely want to give the update. Big move up that first minute, and then literally the next minute, all the way back down it went. So let's go to puts here. See if I can get some at 1850, great. And all out there for a very, very fast $250. Love it. Was in that trade for uh, not that long at all. I don't know, what was that, 10 seconds maybe? But I do want to switch things up now to potentially calls. So let's switch over here to 650 calls. So if this move wants to continue on down, I would be interested down around, let's call it the 646 area. So it still has a few dollars to go, but it is Tesla. So we'll see if this thing wants to pull back some more, but yeah, very happy with that start there. I mean, we're three minutes in the day, up $250. Where in the world can you make $250 in three minutes? Crazy, I tell you, the stock market is a crazy, crazy place. So 
So again, watching 646. In fact, let me get this alerted here. In fact, I'll bring over the chat room so you can see how it actually works. So Tesla 646, interesting potential bounce point five minutes so there we go so members have the same thing now they might disagree with me and say nah 646 doesn't make much sense to me and that's perfectly fine that's fair um you know it's not a group of sheep we're a group of wolves we just help each other out uh, but at the end of the day everybody you know makes their own decisions um so if people want to keep an eye on 646 like i am uh, that's up to them if they disagree well that's completely fine too so let's see if this thing can indeed come down Yeah, 646, get that mapped out here, right around that area. So, all right, I will pause, and if it, like I said, wants to look like it's getting closer to that 646 area, I'll get the video rolling. Well, we now have a very valuable lesson. Now, it has been, I think, basically an hour, I might be wrong, since the last time the video was rolling. The thing here is that I've been here the whole time. In lots of other videos, I step away, I go do something with my kids, and then I come back and I wrap up the video. Um, so it's not like I've been glued to my screen. But in this situation, I have. I've been here the entire time looking for something, looking for another trade. And it, it just, nothing has materialized. So a super important lesson here, um, and I, I suppose, and, and I mean, it's kind of annoying for me, but from an educational standpoint, this video really kind of goes to show now two polar opposite situations. I mean, think about it. Came out of the gates, boom. Three minute, and now again, the trade itself was like, what, 10 seconds long? So 10 seconds, $250. But you know, the market had only been open about three minutes, boom, $250 in my pocket. And then, the rest of the, the, the morning has happened. An hour later, nothing. So just realize that, and, and that is why trading is very challenging because it can start off just boom, all right. And then you're feeling like, okay, let's get another boom. But I mean, uh, to pat myself on the back here a little bit, and I don't mean to sound arrogant, all you gotta do is watch lots of other past videos. You'll see, I make plenty of mistakes too. But the one thing I did here was I didn't let the, oh wow, great start, that was fast. All right, let's go go something else because apparently the markets are gonna be very fast, no. The markets gave me an opportunity. I'm glad I seized that opportunity. But since then, uh, nothing has really happened. So the moral of the story is this. The, the, a very important lesson is just because the day starts in one way, just realize that the market is very moody. It can just all of a sudden change its mind. So just be, and on the flip side, it's too right. Just because maybe something starts off slow within the first five, 10, 15 minutes, it doesn't mean the entire day will be slow. I mean, it, it could pick up. But like I said, the core point here is that it's crazy how fast things can change. I mean, and I, I'm usually tr trying to be done by, you know, 10 a.m., 30 minutes in. So I am well over what I'm normally trying to do. And I wish I could say that, no, no, I haven't been even at my computer. No, I've been here the whole time watching, watching, watching. And I, just nothing has taken place. Been watching the main thing was right up here with this 654 mark, uh, you know, just waiting to see if it, it wanted to, that was the worst straight line I could ever have drawn just looking to see if it could get some sort of breakout through that 654 mark. Uh, it, it teased me several times, but nothing ever materialized. And at this point, I am just gonna wrap things up. Um, so don't get me wrong, very happy still. 250 bucks in an hour, I'll take it. Not many places in the world that are gonna pay you 250 bucks for an hour, uh, but crazy how I made 250 bucks in 10 seconds and then crickets and then nothing. So just be aware of that, be aware of the market's personality and how things can change oh so fast. Before I go though, these live trade videos, if you enjoy them, they're not the easiest to make. They are live, truly, so that means I'm having to think what I'm gonna say to you. I have to think about my own trade plans. I have to make alerts in the chat room. So there's a lot going on, and they are difficult. They're, pos they're possible, yes, but difficult. So I just wanna make sure that you know, I'm using my time the right way and valuing my time. Um, so if you want me to keep making these, if you are finding these helpful, then hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And then also, do you like when I kind of bake in little lessons here, uh, such as, you know, the little learning lesson that we did? So let me know, you know, also down below in that regard. Uh, but like I said, those two things go a very, very long way in communicating to me that you do enjoy these live trade videos. Hit that like button, like I said, a basic comment, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji, uh, go a long way. So that's all I have. I'm officially gonna just move on with the day now uh, because from what I can tell, uh, the market is just, 
it's just not behaving anymore, behaved so nicely. And then just like that, boom, things change. It had a mood swing, at least as far as my strategy is concerned. So I'm just gonna move on with things. Everybody take care, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.